Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing like an updated makeup collection. One thing I will say, just before I get right on in, because I would say this probably is going to be quite a long video, but over the past couple of years, I have actually been trying to like dwindle down my makeup collection quite a bit, but my makeup collection is just enough for me, but I do think that it is still quite a lot of makeup, and that's what I've been trying to do over the past couple of years. As I say, I've been trying to like dwindle down my makeup collection and try to just use up what I have um, because I definitely did notice that it was getting to the point where I was having to expand my makeup collection and it was just taking up so much room in my room. <laughs> also, I'm not happy with my makeup storage. It's just really, really outdated because I still have, you know, like the Alex drawers, these ones here you know, them ones. The makeup collection drawers that everybody had at a stage. <laughs> so that's kind of where my makeup collection is, like these three drawers here. I have two big Alex drawers from Ikea, then one wee small drawer here. But yeah, we just get started. <laughs> So guys, as I was saying there, this is my makeup collection storage. This is just what I'm kind of dealing with at the minute. I'm obviously happy enough with it at the minute and it kind of just does the job until me and Kelly get a house and then I will have like my own proper beauty filming room and everything. So may as well just take you through the top first of all. So I just have this wee acrylic box and this is kind of like my uh, skincare, like the overspill of skincare that doesn't fit in this wee thing. Well, this is actually more of like my more high-end, like pretty skincare. <laughs> and then this is just everything else like in here. And then up here is where I have all of my bullet lipsticks. So again, I got just got this wee acrylic drawer off eBay, I think. It's honestly ancient, but I actually don't really go for my bullet lipsticks that often, so that's actually why I put it up here, so that I'm actually able to like see all my bullet lipsticks and they're easy to just grab. So I have a lot of like Maybelline ones, Maven Beauty, a lot of like Revlon, Revolution, a couple of ones from Primark, Illamasqua, L'Oreal. These are all Primark ones, by the way. And then up here is my MAC liquid lipsticks bullet lipsticks. So we have like the limited edition collections here. We have some normal MAC lipsticks here. These are two from Jeffree Star. Um, there's another wee MAC one. We have some L'Oreal. We have some Urban Decay. And then up here I have some more overspill of like Maybelline as you can see. Revolution Primark. These are all my bullet lipsticks from Colourpop. And then if I just pull it slightly a bit more, here is one from Sephora, Beauty Bay, some really old L'Oreal ones that I have always told myself I'll get using them, I'll get using them. Never happens though, does it? We have one from Jared Cosmetics, Essie Lauder, and then this wee top section here, these are all wee pre-markable lipsticks again. And then I have my P. Louise lipsticks, one from Mike. These are from Revolution. Don't even know what brand that is. Just a colored Rimmel and that's actually a wee Revolution liquid lipstick. And then just up here is my Lux lip oils from Colourpop. I reach for these all the time, so that's why they're kind of just sitting there. I'm just going to take you through my palettes first. So my palettes are actually down here in this drawer, and then everything else is all just like clothes. This drawer here is like my fake tans, body things, hair care, etc. And then this drawer is like a shit drawer. You know, the way everybody has a shit drawer where it's just crap in it. <laughs> So this drawer here is actually for my bigger palettes, like as you can see, and I've actually condensed this drawer down quite a bit every now and again, or like every month or so, and I will do a declutter. Um, so yeah, I actually done that not that long ago, and I was actually able to actually close the drawer because... We haven't much room going on here. So first of all, of course, I have my original Jaclyn Hill palette. I actually have this out at the top here because while I was actually doing that wee declutter, what I will do is any palettes that I have at the bottom, I'll kind of like rotate them and bring them to the top to actually remind me to use them. And this is one of those palettes. It's such a gorgeous palette and I don't know actually why I don't use it more often. The Perfect Carnival palette, Fiery palette from Beauty Bay. This is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous. Such a beautiful, beautiful palette. This is actually brand new from Makeup Revolution that I still haven't got around to using yet, which is beautiful. And we have this wee one from Morphe that again, I'm still yet to use and it is the most beautiful palette ever. I have the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. Here's one from Sample Beauty, Makeup Revolution. 
this Morphe. This is the 35XO palette, which is stunning. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I have this wee Just Peachy Max palette. Back here, I have my Mitchell palettes. These are a nightmare to store. And then I have this one from XX Revolution. I have the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. I was actually gifted this from Look Fantastic quite a while ago whenever Jeffree Star was relevant. And then I have this I Heart Revolution chocolate palette, which is really pretty. Again, I bought this, never used it. I think I might actually sell it on Depop because I haven't even like swatched any shades or anything, but it's still a beautiful palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. These are the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vaults. What is this? Oh, this is the Alexis Stone Transformation palette. These are all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So we have the Modern Renaissance, Soft Glam, Jacqueline Subculture, and the Prism palette. This is one from Shanae So, and this one here is a palette that I literally refuse <laughs> to bin and get rid of. Who remembers the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette? This is actually the very first palette that I actually bought that was in collaboration with a, like a YouTuber or anybody actually. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is so old, but I just refuse to bin it. This is the Stay Sassy palette from I Heart Revolution. We have the Natasha Denona, is it the gold palette? Yeah, the gold palette. This is the Shanae So palette in collaboration with Be Perfect Cosmetics. Beauty and the Beast palette in collaboration with I Heart Revolution. This is the palette from Rude Cosmetics, which is actually really, really pretty. Uh, kimchi, yep. And then what is this? Ooh, oh my god! Again, a palette I completely forgot about. I must definitely do a tutorial on that palette very, very soon. And then this is from uh, Javier's Place. These are my Colourpop palettes. So we have Stone Cold Fox, Your Golden, Bare Necessities, and the So Jaded palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And then these are my three Beauty Bay palettes. So we have the Book of Magic. Let me see. So we have the Book of Magic, the New Romantic palette, and Sunset Horizons palette. So we have the Be Perfect Dream Big Manifest palette. Oh my god, this is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, I have my Alexis Stone Instinct palette. I have these two palettes here that I actually haven't used at all, barely. They're both from Lick and Lash Beauty. These were actually sent to me in PR, but they're stunning absolutely beautiful so so pretty so pretty isn't it absolutely beautiful this top drawer this is actually the drawer that i grab for the most whenever i'm filming because in here is where i have all my sponges my beauty blenders my powder puffs you know all that good stuff please excuse me i could probably could have done with washing them but oh well <laughs> this is all my lip balms and lip masks i have a couple of lip scrubs in here as well see this when you lip scrub the chocolate oh that's the lip mask the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Lip Scrub. This is actually the best wee lip scrub I've used in quite a long time actually. It is so, so good. So yeah, I have my Colourpop ones, one from Laneige. I have this really expensive lips mask here that I actually got sent. I got sent three of these and I actually ended up like giving some of them away because I just didn't need them. But I think these are like 80 something pounds for like one wee lip mask. Really, really expensive. One from Technique Revolution. This is just a wee one that I'm using at the minute because I like to use one and use it up and then I go and finish off the rest. Um, and it is the Butter Lip Balm and it's vanilla and mint and it's really, really nice actually. These are all my nude lip liners. Oh, and this is another lip scrub. This is from Colourpop, but it's not that good. So these are all my nude lip liners and then there's my reds and pinks. And over here is where I have other lip balms that are in the gooey squeezy tube. So I have three ones here from Revolution. This is a Revolution Pro Rescue Lip Oil, which is absolutely fantastic. It's so, so good. Um, we have a wee lip balm from Tarte. And there's also some like wee lipsticks in here as well, actually. Like this wee lipstick here. It's a wee lip crystal balm from Suda. We have some mini NARS lipsticks. Tarte, Colourpop. 
and then some wee mini lipsticks from Beauty Background. And this next drawer is my false lashes. So these are actually the false lashes I'm using at the minute. Like, as you just know, now and again, I won't even really tell you what I'm using. And it's not for any particular reason. It's because I do use, like, every now and again, I will use um, unbranded lashes. But of course, I do have, like, my other lashes, like my Flux lashes, T lashes. One's from Lick and Lash, Be Perfect Cosmetics, Lash Unlimited. I use a lot of the Julie Beauty lashes. Last light for this side is my liquid lipsticks. I have them in these wee dividers, which again, I just got off eBay. So I have one, two, three, four, six of these, but whenever it's all like this, this looks really satisfying. So as you can see at the front here, I have all of my nude liquid lipsticks and glosses, and then at the back, I have my pinks and red liquid lipsticks and glosses. Obviously the nudes come first because they're the ones that I reach for the most. And then I also have like a couple of like really bright, intense colors and everything. So these ones here are all my ColourPop. I have a couple of Kylie Cosmetics. I have three Jeffree Star ones that I just use off camera just to get them used up. I have a lot of like red Colourpop liquid lipsticks up here. Deck of Scarlet. I have a lot of Makeup Revolution. A lot of Makeup Revolution actually. Ooh, and I have a lot of these like NYX like, lip lingerie things that I probably should actually bin but I actually still use them every now and again. What's this? This is a Milani lip gloss that I actually use quite a lot. Honestly, I use so much makeup like off camera that you don't actually get to see. One thing I'm actually want to do is, and I actually seen that Manny MEA has done a video like this recently. It's a video where I actually talk to you about the makeup I love, but I never show it on camera. Would you want that? Is that a good idea? Um, oh, my Dose of Colours liquid lipsticks. These are amazing. But first up, we have foundations. I have my Huda Beauty foundations, LA Girl, my two NARS, Mecca Forever. This is one from Smashbox. This is the Revolution Body Veil. Along here is where I have all of my Marc Jacobs foundations. Colourpop, Shop Miss A. I have two more ones from LA Girl, Tarte. MAC, Becca, um, Urban Decay, and then this other wee one from L'Oreal. And then just at the back here, I have this wee one from the Body Collection. Illa Masca, Elf, Premark, Revolution, and this wee BB Cream. It's actually a Korean brand. It's the Holly Pop BB Cream, and it's absolutely amazing. This next drawer is kind of like for my eyes. For here, I have all of my brow products. So we have some pomades, my soap brows. This is the way soap brows I've just got new and I haven't tried it yet. It's from ColourPop. And then here is where I have like my brow gels, my brow pencils, etc., my wee definers and stuff. And then this is my mascaras. So we have two from ColourPop, L'Oreal. Oh, we have two more from L'Oreal. These wee ones here. One from Elf, Makeup Forever. This is an absolutely fantastic mascara for your lower lash line, by the way. We one from Maybelline, my my Elf mascara. We have this one from Tarte, which I just got recently, which I haven't tried yet. And then we have a one as well from L'Oreal and the Body Collection. Over here is my liquid liner. So we have brown liquid liners, black, and also I have my wee pencils in here as well. Like this wee one from Mecca Forever, etc. And then we have this like freckle tint that I think I've used like once. <laughs> um, and then here is my P. Louise bases. So these are just like my wee colour bases. And then at the bottom here, these are also just wee bases from Maven Beauty, which are actually really good too. And then back here, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see or not, if I pull out a wee bit more. Ugh. Okay, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so these are all my liquid eyeshadows that come in with like wee doe foot applicators. So I have these wee ones from e.l.f. These two from Beauty Bay. And then those other three are from, I think, BH Cosmetics. And then this shit show here is all of my like ColourPop Super Shock shadows on this side. And then on this side is my gel liner. So if I just kind of take these out. Not even too sure if you're able to see them or not, but yeah, they're all like my coloured eyeliners. Like from where I'm standing, I can see like the colours, if that makes sense, but I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see. And then I also have like a Tarte chrome paint. Yeah, chrome paint. Just like wee eyeshadows and stuff. And then these are just new that I got in PR 
from Mello Cosmetics and these are the Glitter Chrome eyeshadows. And then I just have some random wee things there also from Colourpop, Ingla, whatever. Alright, this is all my concealers and also my eye products. These are all my cream bronzers. Huda Beauty, Soul Beauty, XX Revolution, one from Technique. And then these are my concealers. So I also have some concealers in darker shades to cream contour or cream bronze. Um, this is just a foundation stick actually. I don't really know why that's in there because I don't like it. These are my other wee concealers that kind of come in like this squeezy tube packaging. So we have Mega Forever, Kim Chi, The Ordinary and Huda Beauty. My other concealers here, this is obviously just a mixture between a drugstore and high end by the way. I do apologise. The, the bloody window cleaner just has to come whenever I'm doing this like. <laughs> um, so of course we have NARS, Colourpop, Tarte, Benefits, L'Oreal, I Heart Revolution, XX Revolution. We have Jouer, Il Maquillage, another one from Tarte. Um, the Urban Decay Stay Naked, Sleek and Revolution. And at the back here we have kind of like my eyeshadow bases, my eyelash glues, my glitter glues, etc. So I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I have this wee thing from Makeup Revolution. Very similar to this one from P. Louise, the Acid Rain Blank Canvas Base. Um, we have one from Rude Cosmetics and it's a glitter primer. I have my Duraline. I have a couple of wee bases here from P. Louise. Oh, <laughs> this stuff here. <laughs> so here is also where I will have like my coloured liners, whether they're a liquid pencil or in like a wee pot form. And I'll also have some liquid eyeshadows here as well. Like I have these two here from Lottie London, which are stunning. And then I have some wee liners from Mitchell Colourpop. Then this top drawer is actually all my primers. So for some reason I actually have them divide up. Don't ask why. Um, I have this wee foam board. So at the front here is kind of like all my um, like favourite primers or like my go-to primers. So I have these two ones from Relove slash Revolution. I have the NYX Honeydew, Charlotte Tilbury, Milk Hydro Grip. Yeah. I have the Becca Backlight Primer Filter, Finte, MAC, NARS. These two ones here from e.l.f. which are amazing. And this is also a fantastic primer. It's the Watermelon Burst Primer from Seate. At the back here as well, I'll have just like so many crappy primers that I never reach for or backups like this one. But I also have one from Makeup Forever, Soda, the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Primer. Such a fantastic primer. Don't know why I don't use it more often. I have this wee one from Colourpop. It's the Thirst Aid. XX Revolution Glow Fix. And then this one. Oh, I love this. I don't actually think I've used this, but this is from Etude House. Some more back there. I have Revolution. I have Colourpop and Be Perfect Cosmetics. And then along here, I have some bottled primers. So we have Technique, Colourpop, NYX Revolution, uh, Touch and Soul, and then I have another Tom and Jerry collection thing. This one from Makeup Revolution, Revolution, and this wee one here, which I've actually still yet to use. I really need to try this. This is the Willida Skin Food. I really love these wee primers here from XX Revolution. I don't use them as much as I do, as much as I should, but they're so, so good and they're so nice. Very nice and bougie. Nice packaging and everything. Please excuse this drawer, I swear to goodness. So I'm actually going to take these out of the way because these are actually two eyeshadow palettes that I have no room for. So as you can see, these are all my like wee smaller eyeshadow palettes. So at the front here, I kind of have them all laid out like this. I'm not even too sure if you'll be able to see down in, but like my primer drawer, I have these wee foam boards to kind of like have them separate it, if that makes sense. So it just means that they're actually easier to store and I can actually see like every palette so at the front here um where do I start <laughs> holy shit <laughs> um yeah we have Colourpop XX Revolution like we just have like I, I can't even like get these out this wee one from Colourpop um Mellow Cosmetics this is my wee one from Too Faced Beauty Bay Tarte <laughs> Becca these are also from Colourpop Really love. These are my ones from Maven Beauty. These are my Beauty Bay palettes and then these ones here are my Colourpop palettes. So I have this one from Makeup Obsession which is beautiful. I'm actually wanting to do a full face of Makeup Obsession so do tell me if that is actually something you sort of want. 
I have my Be Perfect Cosmetics LMD Master Palette, which is absolutely buggered, but can't bin it. I use it daily. We have one from Sample Beauty, Morphe, another Z palette. This is actually a Z palette full of stuff. And then, oh, what's that? Oh, this is the Holly Boone palette. Oh my God. Yeah, the Dare to be Different palette. I think I'll actually keep that at the top so it reminds me to actually use that, my God. And then over here, I have more wee palettes. So I have this one from Colourpop and it is the Malibu Barbie collab. I have the Lemon Cello. Lemon Cello? Lemon Cello? I definitely need to do a tutorial on this palette very, very soon. And then I have these wee palettes from P. Louise. These were actually in her like wee sandwich collection. <laughs> so yeah, haven't even touched them to be honest. And then I have my glow kits. I love these. I love the Anastasia glow kits. Not for my face, not again for my face if I'm feeling feisty, but um, for my eyes, these are beautiful. I love them so much. We have, obviously that was the dream one. And then this is the Moonchild palette. And this is the Aurora palette, which I think yeah, I've dug quite a bit of a hole in that one. Then guys, this next drawer is all my pigments. So these are all my pigments and glitter. How I have these laid out is in these wee trays, which I also got from Ikea. They do the job, don't they? <laughs> so here I have all of my Makeup Addiction Cosmetics pigments and glitters. These are just wee things from like eBay and stuff that I don't actually like to use on the eyes, but they come on handy now and again for like Halloween looks. And then these are my glitter gels from Colourpop. The Stargazer glitters, these are all from Helen A, yeah, so Helen A, Sample Beauty, and then Hidden Cosmetics. And these are all my Shrine glitters and pigments. And then these are just a mixture of Inglot, Technique, um, Peaches and Cream. These are all like my LA Splash glitters, and also my Peaches and Cream pigments. And then over here is all my Be Perfect pigments. So this is actually where I have all of my setting powders. And here is where I have my overspill of Colourpop highlighters. These are basically all Colourpop Flexitarian, apart from a couple of other wee colours. And here is actually where I have all my setting sprays as well. Starting off at the front here, this is all of my loose powders. Overspill of loose powders and then pressed. So I have Kimchi, Hourglass, Revolution, Quiddy Airspun, Laura Mercier, Too Faced, and then this wee mini Laurier, Laurier, <laughs> Laura Mercier one. This is from e.l.f. It is the Halo Glow setting powder. Absolutely beautiful. This is the wee loose setting powder from XX Revolution. And then we have one from Huda Beauty. I have these wee pressed powders from Technique. Revolution Pro, EX1, Revolution, Colourpop, Colourpop, and Urban Decay. The second drawer down from that is all my blushes. I honestly love this drawer so much, so I'm gonna start over here. So these are actually my cream blushes, and this is actually from, again, Shein, I'm sorry. Um, and it's their brand She Glam, which I actually love these. They're so good. Um, we have a blush from Ofra, Heart, Elf. We have the Putty blush from Elf. And then these are my Colourpop blushes. I have one from Buxom. Here's another one, one from e.l.f. This is my Patrick Ta blush. These are my wee geos from Relove. We have another wee one from Tarte. These two are from Sephora. We have wee mineral blush from Lily, Lily, Lily Lolo, Lily Lolo. Beautiful blush. Um, we have ones from MAC, Mellow Cosmetics. We have two from Milani. We have two from XX Revolution. We have two from Sleek. This is the blush I've been using constantly off camera at the minute. It's from Body Collection and it's in the shade Peach or Peaches. Yeah, just Peach. God, how boring. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's a stunning blush. And then I have these two from Wet n Wild and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have these blushes here from Colourpop. They're beautiful. Too Faced BH Cosmetics. What is this? Uh, pretty vulgar. That's just we make up obsession one. I have my Aviv blush in Pesca, which is absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. 
I have these two blushes here from e.l.f. and they're actually the primer infused blushes. I just do not understand these at all. They're hideous. Um, I was expecting, absolutely love this blush here because it is so up my straight because of the shade. It's a kind of like a peachy shade, but it just looks orange. It literally looks bright orange on your cheeks. Revolution Beauty Bay 2 from Julie Beauty. I have another one from Revolution that may as well just be up there. I have this one from Milani, which I really should actually bin. <laughs> I have had this for actually longer than I've had my YouTube channel. And then I have this wee blush from Tarte, which I got the other day. I actually done a pretty big order on Tarte whenever I was doing my makeup tutorial where I was using makeup products that you don't like. <laughs> um, because I had to go on and get the tart shape tip concealer so I thought while I was on I might as well just get some more wee bits and bobs so I got this wee blush which is quite cute. Back here is where I have my blush palettes so this wee one from Kimchi Cosmetics, love that. The NARS Exposed Cheek Palette, absolutely beautiful. Benefits, the Cheerleaders Palette, this is from Ocalan Professional, three coloured blush. I have one from Technique and I have this one here from Colour vs Skin, which I always forget about, and it is beautiful. So that's the shades in it there. I absolutely think they're gorgeous. And this wee section here is my cream blushes, like my liquid blushes, let's just say. I have um, this one from Colourpop, Soda Beauty, again She Glam, Shane, I'm sorry, um, MEA, Colourpop, oh no, this is Seattle. This is from Colourpop the cheek G and then this is one from Iconic London. This is actually really really pretty but it's definitely not for my type of makeup style um, because it's just very very fair or unless I got like maybe a darker colour because it doesn't really show up on me that well. And then these are just like cream blushes just like the putty ones from e.l.f. This is my bronzer drawer. I really condensed this drawer down because there's just literally three things on this side. So I may as well just start on this side and kind of work my way around. So I actually have a wee highlight palette here from Becca Cosmetics and then I have my Tarte Parkav Princess Chisel palette and at the back here is where I have my bigger bronzers that don't actually fit here. So I have this wee Geo from Jouet. I have my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer, which is beautiful. Then I have this perfectly sculpted palette from Jolie Beauty. As you can see, I've used it quite a few times, but not enough, of course. What's new? And then this is also from Jolie Beauty, and it is their highlight palette. You should actually see my highlighter drawer, guys. You will see it next. Oh my god. God. <laughs> so that's why I have an overspill of highlighters over here. <laughs> so that's what that looks like there. It's absolutely beautiful. And then of course, how could I forget, I got this just new recently. This is the Revolution Soph Glow Palette. So that's what that looks like there. It's gorgeous. I actually used it in yesterday's tutorial. It's probably already up by now, but it's beautiful. We have Pretty Vulgar, Colourpop, Colourpop, Poundland. The best bronzer out of this entire collection, guys, and I am not even joking. And then I have, oh my god! Who remembers this? Who remembers this? I can't bin it guys. I can't bin it. The Slick Face Contour Kit. Oh my god. XX Revolution Anastasia. My Fitty Beauty. And then I have this one from MUA which is nearly done. Beauty Bay. And then these are two Inglot highlighters. The Sparkling Dust highlighters. I have this wee blush here from Mellow Cosmetics but I can actually use this as a bronzer so that's why it's in here. This is from Shop Messe and Nurse. And then over here I have this wee kit from Revolution. We have this wee pressed powder foundation from Primark, which is actually a perfect colour for me to use as a bronzer. Um, we have one from MAC, MAC Too Faced, Bobbi Brown. These two here are wee bronzers from Julie Beauty. I have this wee one from BH Cosmetics. These are two of the Pro Bronze Fusions from Makeup Forever, which are absolutely stunning. Um, Urban Decay, Doll Beauty, Kimchi, and this wee one from Suda. Oh my god, we're on to the last drawer. Thank you, God. <laughs> so guys, this is my highlight drawer, which is literally busting at the seams. Honestly, there's things tucked in at the sides everywhere. I have this wee mini palette from Laura Geller, Life Glows On. It's the Illuminator palette, which is absolutely stunning. 
First off we have here is MAC Soft and Gentle. I have this one here from MAC. This is another one from MAC. Premark, Premark, MEA, MEA. I actually love these wee ones from MEA. I don't know if anybody else feels the same, but I love this one especially. And it's in the shade Cashmere. And then I have this wee one from Colourpop. I have four wee loose highlighters here. Two from Kylie Cosmetics, one from Hidden Cosmetics. And then this wee one is from AOI Studio. Over here, these are actually the wee um, highlighters from Premark. I could actually do a spin on them because they're pretty old at this point and I never use them. <laughs> I have this wee highlighter here from um, Smashbox. Remember they've done this collection and I had to get everything in the collection. It's absolutely beautiful but I just can't bring myself to actually bin it or get rid of it because the packaging is gorgeous. And then I have this one from, is it Mammy? Me? I don't know. Laura Mercier XX Revolution. I have these two from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I have my Anastasia and Amrisi highlighter. I don't know about anybody else but I absolutely love this highlighter. I really really wish they would pull their finger out, wind their necks in and come out with this highlighter again. Do us all a favour. Jouet highlighter that I'm loving at the minute. This is the one from Sephora. Ugh. I have a wee one from e.l.f. and then this is the Colourpop Flexitarian that I'm actually using up at the minute. And then we have another wee Allura Geller highlighter here. At the front on this other side we have two wee minis from um, Jouet. We have, what is this? It's from Miss Lynn. Um, this is the Milk and Cookies. Is it Milk and Cookies? Yeah, Milk and Cookies, and this is in collab with Steph Toms and Ofra. We have the Jelly Beam from Versali. Again, I could probably actually get rid of that. <laughs> Relove from Revolution. I have two from Doll Beauty, Maven Beauty, Too Faced, Pixie, Beauty Bay. This one from Makeup Revolution and Too Faced. And then I have this wee thing from Natasha Denona, and I have never used this probably because it doesn't match me whatsoever. This is where I kind of have my bigger highlighters. So I have this one from XO Beauty slash Shan XO. Colourpop highlighters from Soul Body. So these are like body highlighters, but they're absolutely beautiful on the skin, like on the face. That's what I mean by that. And then my one from Barbie slash Colourpop, my Be Perfect Cosmetics and Mitchell palette. I have this wee Colourpop highlight palette that I actually got for Christmas quite some time ago. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like rediscovering all this makeup and this is from Beauty Bay and it is their Living My Best Light palette. These are stunning by the way. They're absolutely beautiful and really really cheap and affordable honestly. Just as good as the Colourpop highlighters actually. And then over here I have my e.l.f. jelly highlighter which is absolutely amazing. Some loose highlights from Hidden Cosmetics. Artist Couture and then I have this big bulky bitch back here and this is from I Heart Revolution and it's the Beauty and the Beast collab. Okay my love, so that was my updated makeup collection video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Oh and another thing, please do follow me on Depop. I have recently got Depop back again. I had a wee bit of a hiccup there with the app Depop. Somebody had like hacked my account, you know, whatever. Um, and I've actually got it again, so I'm going to be selling um, some makeup. Um, so if you just want to buy anything off me, you know what to do. Just follow me on there. Of course, I also just want to mention quickly, I do not sell my PR. If I get PR and I don't want it, or if I want to gift it or give it to somebody, it'll be friends or family, or it'll be to you guys in giveaways. That is one thing that I really, really dislike, and I will not stand by that, is people that sell their PR. It really pisses me off, actually. Yeah, I'll, that'll also be linked down below as well guys and thank you so much for watching again and I hope to see you in my next video.